twelve. Electric Ladyland. I stroll up to the brightly lit Palace of Mirrors. There's a ticket office and a sign that says, See yourself in a new light. A thin, artistic-looking man with light brown hair comes to the door. Coming inside, father. I don't know. I'm waiting for someone. He's persistent. A visit here could change your life. I note the absence of a name tag. He's an NPC, all right. As if noticing my scrutiny, he says, I am Jean Cocteau. One day I'll make movies, but now I merely infiltrate dreams. You infiltrate dreams? How so? He gestured inside. Come in. Only 25 francs, and I promise you, you will learn something. A golden goblet pops into existence above his head. Jean Cocteau offers you the quest of mirrors. Do you accept? Sounds interesting. There are all sorts of things that I want to learn, but I don't have time for it now. But if I accept it, it'll get copied into my journal, and I can come back and do it at a more convenient time. I hit accept. He says, capital. Step right up. He stands aside to let me past him to enter the Palace of Mirrors. For all it is lit up like a Christmas tree outside, the inside peering through the door is dark and gloomy, hung with red satin drapes and old-fashioned brass oil lamps in frosted tulip-shaped shades that hiss as they burn. I don't move. I don't have time now, I say. Cocteau whispers, mirrors are the doors through which the dead come and go. That's pretty creepy. I say the dead. Spirits, and those who would walk as spirits. I'm still hovering outside the door of the Palace of Mirrors. This is crazy talk, and I need to find Sally, not go off on a side quest. But this talk of walking like a spirit and using mirrors as doors may be promising for future reference. I don't have time for it now. I decide not to go in and shake my head. And then a tall, thin man with ginger hair and acne comes up and taps me on my shoulder. Are you Adam Cadmon? I turn round, ignoring Jean Cocteau. Y yes, I say. He gives a gawky laugh. I'm Yves Tonguy. I brought my lockpicks. 